Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, on my channel you will see thrift tulips, DIYs, trash to treasures, um, home decor, all sorts of stuff. Um, so please do consider subscribing if you like what you see in today's video. Um, that would really help me out. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for popping back and uh, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I used some trays from Sushi and created a two-tiered tray for jewelry. Um, this video is a part of a challenge that is hosted by Melissa Makes It DIY and Leah from Junkernecker. Uh, both of these ladies are super creative. Please check out their channels. I'll have their um, channels listed below as well. Check out the playlist because there'll be some super creative ladies using, you know, recycled stuff to create some treasures. Today I'm going to be painting these guys out in um, the Rust-Oleum Chalked Linen White. Now this is like a little, it's like a plastic material, so that's why I'm opting out for the chalked paint. I'm not going to record myself um, painting it for the sake of time because I've done many um, spray paint tutorials. So I'm going to be using the little part of one of those foam brushes, um, the wood part, as my middle part of the tray, which I also have to spray paint. So I'm not entirely happy with like these things showing. Um, well, I wouldn't have minded this, but I don't like that showing. And I didn't do anything about it beforehand. I don't didn't notice them, to be honest with you. Uh, so what I did was I painted three pieces of cardstock. They were yellow. Um, I had some white cardstock, but it wasn't exactly the same shade as this, so I just painted these guys out. I'm just waiting for them to dry. They look like they're, they have some yellowing coming through, but they don't. I think it's just the lighting. Um, and I'll just be putting them at the bottom of the tray. After they have dried, I'm just using my hot glue gun and a little bit of the Well Bond uh, glue to secure the cardstock to the bottom of the um, plastic tray part. Um, I tried the hot glue first and it wasn't sticking so then that's why I used the well bond. After those have been secured I go ahead and I secure the wooden dowel onto the bottom part of the tray. Uh, again I used a combination of the hot glue and the well bond. For this, um, I wound up actually taking the hot glue off and just using the well bond and putting it off to the side um, just to make sure that it stuck better. And uh, once that dried, I went ahead and I used some jute rope to cover basically that little part where the paper meets the tray and just to make the tray look a little bit nicer. I wasn't originally going to do this, but... Um, once I kind of started, I liked the way it looked. And I used my hot glue gun to apply that. As you can see, I attached the jute rope just to the bottom part of the tray and the sides. And I'm going to use my Art Minds um, Paint in Espresso, and I'm going to go ahead and just distress the tray a little bit. After I distress the bottom part of the tray, um, I notice that the middle part is still a little, like the dowel that's supposed to hold the other tray is still a little bit flimsy. So I leave it to dry further, but it's been drying for quite a long time and it's still flimsy. So I'm not sure that I'll be keeping it at this point, but you'll see what I wind up doing after. Um, then I go ahead and do the same thing to the top tray. I glue on the, the paper and I add the twine. I'm not going to show you the entire process as I feel that it um, there's no point, but I'll just show you kind of a little bit of what I did. For the top tray. So after I added the paper, I just go ahead and I just start wrapping my jute rope around. Um, so again, you apply the hot glue. Uh, try not to apply a lot at once because it dries so fast. Um, so, you know, kind of do one section at a time or one or two sections at a time. And um, 
be very careful because the like at least my hot glue gun is extremely hot so I burnt my fingers a few times I should have probably worn gloves so after I completed adding the jute rope I tried to attach the tray to the top like to the trays together but the dowel just wasn't working so I got that little plastic thing from my husband's workshop and it seemed to have done the job and it was white and clear so it you know went with the tray I didn't have to paint it or anything like that then I added these little legs um, they're just beads I got a whole box of them from um, the thrift store so I'm just adding them to the bottom here is the finished piece and I think it turned out really really cute I'll be using it to store my jewelry when I take it off at night or um, just anything extra that I wear on a regular basis. I just think it's a really, really cute little two-tiered tray. Um, it just goes to show you that you can really make um, anything into something special if you want to. Um, I added the little jute rope at the top just as a little top for the tray and I love it. So if you love it, hit that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you can see more of my videos. Make sure you check out the playlist and the hosts of this challenge. As well, check out these videos that I've recommended for you here. Thanks for stopping by and have an excellent day.